you could actually call my practice really quite diverse. I mean, I work in all sorts of medium, from collage, sculpture, films, stuff like that. I mean, I've been making kind of small, small kind of representations of things for quite a while, but kind of there's something, you know, I mean, there's that whole Alice in Wonderland thing of kind of being in one reality looking into another reality, which is there. And then there's a kind of childlike thing of kind of like the, the way that your imagination works when you're confronted by a small space. It kind of makes you feel like God. <laughs> World affairs and politics, I guess, figured in my life um, from a very young age. I mean, one of my earliest recollections was um, the kind of Vietnam War and the Intifada, and it got me thinking about the kind of, you know, the sort of Protestant and Catholic persecutions, you know, the 14th and 15th centuries and stuff, and, and the way that religion had become kind of excreted into secret rooms and kind of with a, with a certain amount of humour tinged with a, with, a, um, with kind of trepidation. I, I kind of was thinking about how, where we would put secret rooms in a modern house. Brick built houses these days, they don't have space to have secret rooms. So you would have to put your faith, you would have, if you're going to hide your faith, you'd have to hide it in your garden shed, you know. I've always had a shed. When I left uh, school, it kind of, kind of became about repairing the tools for my job and then later on it became about repairing my diving equipment and then when I went to art college it became a studio and it wasn't until I got a real studio that I stopped working in sheds. Every object in, in, every, in all them sheds starts with this. How am I going to make that? You know, because not only am I confronted with the object itself and, and faithfully kind of trying to rendition it, some of them have to be really faithfully rendered. Um, but there's also kind of old techniques and there's also sort of kind of um, painting and colour and scale. But then at the same time, all of it has to be done this big. The decision to make what represents a kind of boat shed rather than a handmade shed kind of comes, brings back some of my older work that was about repetition, about this kind of idea that um, you know, it's this, in a way they're kind of units of capitalism, it, it, it's a status symbol to own something that you've gone and bought. I mean the fact that I've crafted them myself is besides the point, but it, they kind of become a kind of representation of a certain ideal in life. Choosing the religions, I, well I, I guess the starting point was Islam. Because of my experiences of working in Turkey and, um, and the kind of exposure I'd had to the architecture, I kind of I love the architecture of Islam. I got invited to show at um, the Museum of Contemporary Art in Dublin. I decided to make it two more, which was Catholic and Protestant, which are displayed side by side, separated by a garden fence. What I found that as I've gone along with this project is that you become wrapped up in your own thinking, you become wrapped up in your own world and your old world view. I learned something about human beings in the way that um, there's a tendency to want to believe in something or whatever that is. I've learned so much. I've learned a lot about myself, about kind of like where I, f how, what I feel about religion. I've learned a hell of a lot about materials, you know, wood, you know, discovering how to work with rosewood, how to work with olive and things like that. I've discovered sort of kind of gold plating, metal work, old meth techniques and things like that. How to simulate things, electrical lighting, <laughs> how to build a shed. <laughs> the kind of main experience that I want people to get from the work is that they enjoy it. You know, I mean, there, there is something really quite playful about this work and that very kind of visually stimulating, something really quite rich. And, and that's deliberate because, I, you know, I kind of firmly believe, you know, in something really kind of aesthetic and that I want in my work and you know for people to just come along and enjoy it purely you know just from a visceral you know perspective then I would be very happy with that but at the same time also there's another th question in there it's like who am I where do I fit in the world you know and, and if you say I fit in this shed then you know what relationship do I have with the others around me and I think I think if I wanted to anything to come from this I would like, want people to sort of kind of to kind of come away thinking, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff out there and there's a lot of different opinions, but ultimately, you know, we all kind of link together in 
so many different ways. 